thought I would um, uh, show you a picture of just a little bit of a picture of, of legacy. And so I took it from way back in the 80s so you could get a good laugh at me. So here we go. Let me show you a picture. That's my grandfather, my father, and that's me right there in the middle. So that's me as a teenager right there. We are going to an LSU game because all my family's from Louisiana, big LSU fans. So my dad's got his LSU shirt on. My grandfather's wearing a suit to the game. I don't know what that's about, but he's wearing a suit to the game. And I've kind of got just a, a basic, am I cool enough as a teenager with probably Jordash Guess or Jabot jeans on. For those of y'all that remember those, probably not Jordash. I don't think I had that. That was girls, wasn't it? Um, but... Jabot and Guess and Apollo, and so I'm rocking it to go to the game. So this was when I was blind before I could see, when I was dead before I'm alive, because that's when I was a Tiger fan, and now I'm an Aggie. And so now I've come to the light to be able to have. I'm actually still a really big LSU fan as well, um, and really LSU football is more fun to follow than Aggie football uh, most years, but I'm a bigger A&M fan, don't worry about that, to be able to do that and to have LSU along the way. But let me, let me just pull up that picture one more time, if you will. That's my gray hair picture. Now, that one's the one I'm looking for. All right. You know, I learned things from my grandfather who's in heaven now. You know, I called him Pop. My kids call him Super Pop because they now call my dad Pop. And so I learned things from him. I learned things from my dad. And there's a legacy that goes forward on that. And I could still hear my grandfather's voice. I could still feel his conversations in the kitchen as my grandmother would make breakfast. I could still be in that very room right there. And so that legacy lives on, and hopefully I'm putting things into my son, into my daughter, and to be able to live a legacy through them. So fathers, what does a dad need? A dad needs respect for the importance of being a dad, and that means a listening ear. Doesn't mean a roll in the eyes, doesn't mean a, uh-huh, yeah, dad, what, uh-huh, oh yeah, like that's really going to work anymore. I mean, you know, no, there's a respect. Listen to your dad to tell those stories. Because you want to hear those stories to gain that wisdom. And some of you that have dads in heaven right now, you'd do anything, wouldn't you, to hear another story from your dad? It can be the same ones you heard a hundred times, but to hear it from your dad. Dads are important in our society, and we need to respect the importance of our fathers. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel, or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.